Everyone knows who Julian Newman is, but he had a teammate that was younger and better than him that no one even talked about. I wouldn't go as too far as to say Julian Newman is a basketball icon, but he definitely receives a lot of attention. Ever since he was a kid, all eyes have been on him. And in the most recent years, a lot of people have been criticizing him and his game. While all that was going on though, he had a teammate that was playing alongside of him that was actually better than him. The crazy part about it though, was that no one gave the other guy any recognition whatsoever. So who is this guy? Let's dive straight into it. Meet Emmanuel Maldonado. He comes in at roughly 6'3 and 160 pounds. And he's been the shooting guard that played alongside Julian Newman for a while now. But here's the difference between both of these guys. This kid can actually hoop. Not only can he hoop, he actually has a pretty great body build for the next level. Julian Newman was roughly only 5'7", and I know height isn't everything, but that's not tall at all. Julian has always put up great numbers, but the numbers are somewhat deceiving. Yes, he did average 30 points per game almost his entire high school career, but he was jacked up a ton of shots and had a bad turnover to assist ratio. And he had the ball in his hands almost 98% of the game. And the other 2% of the game, when he did pass it to his teammate known as Emmanuel, he was a bucket. When Emmanuel was just a freshman playing for the varsity team, he averaged 10.6 points per game. He also pitched in 2.1 assists and 2.6 rebounds, so not shabby for a freshman. And what's been so impressive about Emmanuel, he's always been better than Julian Newman and he hasn't even had the ball in his hands most of the game. Whenever he does get the ball in his hands though, he makes it count. A lot of times and in most cases the only time Julian even passed from the ball was when Julian was in trouble or needed to give it up to someone. And I know this may be a very bold statement but I don't even think Julian was the best player on the court throughout his career. I think this guy was. For obvious reasons he didn't get to shine because Julian's dad had too much pride to let another player take all of the attention. And what's really impressive about Emmanuel being better than Newman for a while now is that he's actually still younger than him. He's in the class of 2021 so he still has one more year of high school basketball left. Even though he's unranked on most recruiting websites, he's actually seen a lot of attention from colleges. As of right now, he has seven school interests and one offer. And his most notable interests are from Georgia Tech, Iowa State, Kansas State, and Murray State. Those are pretty good interests, and his one offer is currently from Bethune-Cookman. So it's not like I'm just telling you a theory about how I think this guy's better than Julian. He actually can really hoop. When I say this, I believe this with zero doubt in my mind. There's not one thing that Julian does better than Emmanuel. Emmanuel's taller, he's more shifty, he's a better ball handler, and he's by far a better shooter. We don't stop there. He's better at attacking the goal and he's a way better passer. He lets the game come to him. He don't force the game on himself like Julian does. And the thing that really separates them both is that he's very humble and calm and cool and composed at all times. Whereas for Julian, do I really have to say anything about it? He's just a rage monster. And trust me, I get it. Julian did put up some crazy good numbers, but in oftentimes those were against terrible teams. When they were playing against competition, Emmanuel was the one that stood out the most. He rose to the occasion. Julian Newman folded under the pressure. Not only does he beat Julian in almost every category I just named possible, he also has a little bounce to him. He's one of those guys that I would say is kind of sneaky athletic. It catches you off guard. You guys can think or say what you want, but I'm just speaking facts here. He's better than Julian at every aspect of basketball. A lot of high school basketball players are underrated. Do not get me wrong, but Emmanuel's got to be up there with the top of them. And not only is he underrated, it's more like he was overshadowed as well. The best thing that's ever happened to Emmanuel was something that didn't even happen on the court, and that was Julian Newman graduating in this recent year. So now in this up and coming high school season, he's going to have the team all to himself. And I really think he's going to thrive and shine even more with Julian not even on the court. Let's be honest with ourselves, Julian Newman and that entire family is just a big distraction. And another thing that's really going to help this guy is that he's even going to get to bring the ball up the court and have the ball in his hands way more than the previous years. I know some people know who this guy is, but I don't think you guys actually know how good he is. This guy has college point guard potential written all over him. Notice how I didn't say NBA potential. I think he could be a great college player one day. Could he make it to the NBA? Possibly, but I don't know as of right now. But but I am 100% sure that he's one of the best up and coming rising players in this year's high school season. I think a lot more people would have been talking about him if it wasn't for the coronavirus because he would have had a breakout AAU season. Unfortunately, that didn't happen so he has a lot of ground to gain in this up and coming year. I know we talked a little about his game but I don't even think I did it justice. I say it occasionally on this channel but Emmanuel is just a smooth player. When I look at a basketball player I always ask myself the question, is he forcing things or does he look smooth out there? And just think about it, Julian did not look smooth out on the court. He looked like he forced things and he was just hesitant on everything. On the other hand, this player right here looks very smooth and calm out there. And that's what makes a great player on any level, whether it's in high school, college, or the NBA. And I wouldn't even say this guy's got next. He's got now, so keep your eyes open because he's coming. Emmanuel Maldonado has been in Julian Newman's shadow almost his entire life. 
but now Julian's gone. So can he break out and prove everyone that he's the best player? But hey man, with all this being said, that's about gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and join the family and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out y'all. Peace.